I want to show you a side of Miami that not many people get to see. Past the yachts, the luxury high rises, and partying past sunrise. There's a wide array of beautiful ecosystems just on Miami's doorstep. Coral reefs, mangroves, and seagrass meadows are some ecosystems that provide multiple services that directly help to sustain and protect Miami's communities. What if I told you that luxury wasn't on a rooftop in Miami Beach, but in the unique and rare coastal ecosystems surrounding us? Well, the uh, unique nature of Miami is that we have a huge urban metropolis with, with over 8 million people living right next to, uh, to wild natural resources. So you can see the coral reefs from your condos. Uh, you can see the, uh, the condos from the seagrass beds and the mangroves. So they're very closely uh, tied together. Their, their fate is very closely tied together, so which poses challenges uh, because of the urban nature of the, uh, the environment, but also unique opportunities to, uh, to integrate the, uh, the people into conservation and restoration efforts. University of Miami Rosensteel School of Marine, Atmosphere, and Earth Science professors Diego Lerman and Maddie Kaufman teach a tropical coastal restoration class that gives students the tools they need to take actionable change in each ecosystem. are important for a whole suite of reasons. Um, one big one is coastal protection. So when storms come in and hit a mangrove bed, that wave energy is buffered down a ton. And so we don't see that storm surge that we would see without the mangrove's presence that protects our coastlines, our communities, our buildings, our infrastructure. Um, they're also really important for carbon capture and alleviating the impacts of climate change. So they store a lot of carbon within the biomass of the mangroves themselves and then also within the peat that uh, the mangroves grow within that their leaves fall into. There's a big carbon sink there, so they're an amazing source of blue carbon and helping to absorb anthropogenic CO2 emissions.
restoration has integrated deep into Miami culture and emerged in art. Colin Ford is a coral scientist, artist, and founder of art initiative Coral Morphologic and local ongoing underwater livestream project Coral City Camera. He uses art to inspire the next generation to restore and protect the coral ecosystems by showing their beauty and resilience. When you think about the Apollo astronauts that went to the moon, everybody assumed that the idea of going to the moon was going to be this amazing religious experience for the astronauts. But the reality of you know, when they came back was it was actually seeing Earth. That was the religious experience for that planet. Everything is down there and it's fragile and it's small. It wasn't getting to the lifeless, barren moon. You know, it's all happening right here. And that's the type of perspective shift that I think Hall has the ability to catalyze. Finding ways to communicate the science to the public is probably one of the most important things that can happen in order to change people's minds at all. Climate change and global warming. If you can draw people into the beauty of the coral, just because they're, they're, they're beautiful, that gives you an opportunity to not educate them. When you think about Miami, I think a lot of people tend to think of Miami initially as a, like a neon artificial nightlife city. But the reality is that the corals are the original neon nightlife creatures that built Miami. 